Hello guys, welcome you all in a new video and this video is totally dedicated for the consumers who is using Samsung Android smartphone especially for A13 Samsung smartphone. So this video is especially dedicated for the model A13 and if your uh, Samsung Android smartphone A13 is uh, uh, logged due to forgotten pin pattern and password log and you have applied to your smartphone to hard reset mode then after when you will switch on your phone you will get a such type of welcome pop-up and a such type of display okay but in this process i will mention you that you will have to make sure that your phone's battery should be charged at least 30 percent otherwise if in this method if your phone is uh, completely uh, discharged then after you will have to uh, process uh, this again so make sure uh, charge your phone at least 30 percent or you may also use your smartphone charger at the time of using this unlocking bypass frp method okay so you can see here uh, here welcome pop-up is showing here so uh, when i will go with this start option and you will have to check here or agree to all then after you will have to go to the agree here and go to the agree and agree one more thing I would like to tell you, my friend, your phone should be connected to the Wi-Fi network in this method because it's very mandatory. Otherwise, you can't uh, bypass this page. Okay. So after that, you will have to go to the next option here. And when you will go to the next option, let's check what happened here. So you can see here after hard reset again the if uh, pin pattern and password lock will be show on your phone display. You can see here, but here you can see here. There is another option is showing here use my google account instead okay so it means if your phone pin pattern and password has been forgotten and you have hard reset of your smartphone uh, especially a13 then when you will come on this page here you you will get an another option to use your gmail account okay so you can see here here it will ask your gmail account and uh, gmail account and password so uh, if you don't have your gmail account if you're using your phone number the same phone number you can also use that phone number to go through uh, this process and bypass this space but if you don't have your gmail id and password and if you don't have your smartphone uh, phone number so you can't bypass this page okay so this lock is uh, generally known as frp lock and this is generated by the google to secure your smartphone when your phone is stolen okay so let's check what happened here uh, when i will uh, um, make some changes in the settings to uh, bypass this page okay so this is a uh, very very possible that you can't uh, that you don't need to go uh, service center and you don't need expense any money uh, to anywhere to uh, bypass your frp of your samsung a13 smartphone okay so from here simply you will have to reach to the starting page here you can see here this was the starting page here you will have to make some changes to bypass that uh, frp lock okay so firstly you will have to change your uh, language because uh, the samsung generally used by uh, us so you will have to change here english us then after you will have to go to the agree and after that you will have to click on this emergency call option okay in this space here you will have to dial a star has zero star has sorry when you will uh <coughs> dial here star has zero star has you will get a such type of display here you will get a lots of option on this page but uh, simply you will have to go to this uh, sensor option and when you will click on this sensor option uh, you will get some synchronizing option you can see here here you don't have to do anything here you will have to wait for minimum five seconds then after you will have to go to the back option here okay then after the second option is showing here version you will have to tap on this version option and you will get a such type of version like your ap cp csc so here again you will have to wait for minimum five seconds then after you don't have to do anything simply you will have to go to the back option and again you will have to go to the back now <clears throat> now my friend here you will have to go to the start option here now here you will have to click on this agree to all and go to the agree okay now go to the agree then after here you will have to open your phone's talkback option and for this you will have to press the power button and the volume up button same time press hold and release so simply you will have to press hold and release so after that you will have to tap on this use option again you will have to do the same now after that here you will have to draw a opposite l and you will have to double tap on while using the app you will have to tap on the use voice command open google assistant open settings open setting open settings
when your setting option will be appear on your phone display simply you will have to switch off your talkback option and you will have to do the same process uh, power button and the volume up button press hold and release now after that you will have to scroll down and you will have to reach to the option that will show here lock screen you will have to tap on this now after that you will have to go to this option that will show here about lock screen you will have to tap on this option okay now after that you will get an option open source license you, you will have to tap on this now after that you will have to copy this web address you can see here here uh, you will get a uh, web address you simply you will have to copy this and copy here then after you will have to go to the back option and again you will have to go to, uh, go to the back option here you will get an option of uh, screen lock type when you will tap on this it won't work okay so don't worry simply you will have to tap on this screen lock type option seven times one two three four five and seven now all the things has been done after that you will have to go to the back option and back option and exit from this setting option okay now after that you will get an option that will show here add network simply you will have to tap on this add network option then after you will have to click on this view more now here you will have to go to the option that will show here ip setting simply you will have to tap on this and go to the static option now here you will have to make some changes like ip address gateways and network uh, prefix length okay so here you will have to type here triple eight dot triple nine dot double zero dot triple two and you will have to type the same here triple eight dot triple nine dot double zero dot triple two and you will have to type the here same as it is and you will have to type here same as it is and here as it is same 8.8.4.4 and okay now all the changes has been done on in this space after that you will have to go to the back option again you will have to tap on this add network option now here you will have to go to this setting options okay now when you will go in this setting option simply you will have to scroll down and go to the option that will show here reset to default setting here okay now after that you will have to tap on this uh, reset keyboard settings go to this option and reset to all now you will have to tap on this erase personalized prediction tap on this and click on this erase option okay <coughs> now after that go to the back option here now after that you will have to come on this option that is languages and types you will have to tap on this you will have to click on this manage input language and you will have to select here all the languages where the english will show so you can see here english uk switch on this english us switch on this and here you will get an another english switch on this now after that go to the back option on this page and go to the back now here you will get an option that will show here text shortcut okay when you will come on this text shortcut simply you will have to tap on this uh, add option now your model number you will have to type here your model number samsung a13 okay frp remove okay because this video is completely dedicated for a samsung a13 model so you will have to type here samsung a13 frp remove and here you will have to paste that web address and go to the add option go to the back option again you will have to go to the back go to the back and reach to the starting page okay now again you will have to start here agree to all agree here you will have to uncheck nearby devices and nearby devices and go to the agree now after that you will all the things all the settings has been done now after that you will have to simply click on this next option so after that you will get two options don't copy and next simply you will have to select here don't copy option so my friend you can see here you're getting here a skip option where the gmail id and the password was asking now you can see here you are getting here a skip option now you can easily bypass this page tap on this skip option go to the skip here go to the accept if you want to new use pin pattern and password so you may also use from here but right now i will skip this page skip anyway go to the ok next skip here skip so you will get a pop of your all setup and you will get a pop of also a finish simply you will have to tap on this finish option okay agree 
here it will ask you to select a language you can also skip this page but i will suggest you select a single language then go to the next option go to the continue select your gender your age criteria go to the install finish so my friend you can see here the phones samsung a13 model frp uh, has been completely bypassed you can see here so if your samsung a13 model uh, frp has been also bypassed then do the like this video and if 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 it if it didn't work on your smartphone, then make us comment where you're stuck in this uh, method. Our team will definitely uh, respond on your comments. Thank you so much.